All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing things slightly differently. We are going to be doing a tutorial on how to get the animated home screens for the front screen and the inside screen. For those of you who know how to do this, you know it's not that, that hard. Um, for those of you who don't, I'm going to show you. It's pretty cool. It's slightly tedious, but once you get it, you can have uh, a lot of wow factor when it comes to your uh, Z Fold 3. Later on, I'll do the same kind of thing to show you how to do it, essentially for your Z Flip. But until then, we're just going to stick with this one. Real quick, before we get started, I want to go ahead and send a quick shout out to all the new subscribers um, and everybody who's watched so far. Thank you guys again for the positive feedback. I love all the comments that you guys are leaving. Again, don't feel uh, uh, or don't be afraid to say what's on your mind. If you dislike the video, if there's something you want changed on it, let me know. I am willing to change anything up to maybe hit a different formula. I want it to be as entertaining as possible for you guys. But again, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for all the likes. Thank you guys for the comments, the positive feedback. I really do appreciate it. It's definitely going to help this channel grow into something hopefully great. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so here we go. So, like I said, we're going to be focusing on these two apps right here, the Video Wallpaper and the Any Video Live Wallpaper app. Again, both are free. But before we start off with that, I want to go ahead and show you guys something that you might not know, or if you do know, maybe you might learn some stuff along the way. So, you're going to want to have something recorded or screen recorded that fits the aspect ratio of your phone. If you're going to, if you're, you're mostly going to be using your phone in portrait mode, you're going to want that um, almost one-to-one uh, -one type ratio or if it's sideways it's almost like a like a three by five or three by four type aspect ratio so for instance like I, like as you see this is taking up the entire screen right now but let's say you get a video that's 16 by 9 obviously you're gonna have the black bars upper and lower and you don't want to see that whenever you're trying to just have a background so what you're gonna want to do is is you're gonna go to um, the gallery and you're going to choose a uh, video of your choosing right like let's say let's say for instance this one right um, I want it to fit the aspect ratio of the back screen or the inside screen rather but it's just it's not doing that right now you see you can see the upper and lower black bars so we're gonna go ahead and edit and all we're gonna do is hit this little transform button down here okay and we can adjust it see there's the one-to-one -one right there and there's three by four right so we'll do three by four okay notice how it cuts off everything that we needed to and since we're in here let's go ahead and edit it kind of zooms in right there so we'll go ahead and start it right there and we'll get rid of any weirdness at the back just for starters and you can totally do this this is this looks a lot harder than it actually is but for trimming you got the scissors for transforming you got the little box with the arrow it's pretty straightforward. Once you're all done with it, go ahead and hit save. We're gonna go ahead and wait for that to go through and we'll resume right after that. All right, so now we have it completely edited. And as you can tell, it takes up the majority of the screen. And that's what you want. You're gonna want that. So just for grins, we're gonna go ahead and go back, go here. We're gonna do the video wallpaper for the inside, which is what I prefer. It's entirely up to you, it's your choice, but we're gonna do this like this. So we're gonna go to the top one right here to be able to select our video. Click on that. We're going to look for the edited video that we have. There it is. Okay, and like I said, on this one, you can choose a start point and a finish point. But we've already edited it the way that we want it to. So we're gonna go ahead and hit this little preview button at the top right. And it's gonna show it off like this. Once we're all decided that it looks good we're gonna go ahead and hit set wallpaper do home screen you can do home screen and lock screen if you have customized lock screen where it shows your family if you got pictures of other things you have you already have a another sec you know selection of stuff that you want, don't want to interrupt it just hit home screen we're gonna hit home screen and now as you can tell there it is takes up and like I said the higher the resolution of which you recorded at the better it's gonna look 
So now that we have it all looking the way that we do, we're gonna go in and change it. That was just showing you an example, but I like this one. I don't need to set a start or a finish time. I already set it the way that I wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and hit preview, sit, hit set wallpaper, home screen again, and boom. Now we have it. Again, I am a Dragon Ball nerd, so this is just my thing. But you can use it for anything, and it plays it really well. It doesn't ever get interrupted. It starts over all the time. Every time you open up your phone, it's going to start the sequence of playing that video. And if you have it set correctly, it's it's gonna look really cool. If you have it timed decently and stuff, if you play around with it, every time you open up your phone, you're gonna have, you're gonna give yourself that wow factor, but anybody else looking at you mess with your phone is also gonna get that wow factor. It's just one of the cool things about having this phone. This phone turns a lot of heads and everybody that has it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So now we're gonna go into the front screen and we're gonna adjust that one because yes, that does take another app and it's not difficult, but anyway, we'll get to it. Here we are on the front screen. And as you can tell, the aspect ratio is completely different. You have this whole candy bar type aspect ratio. And it's slightly difficult to mess with, but if you do exactly what I said on the other one, you're gonna be able to navigate it just, just as decently. The problem we're gonna run into with this one is like I said, they're free, but they have ads. The any video wall, live wallpaper in particular. It's, it can get a little tedious, but well, you'll see what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we're going to go ahead and choose set wallpaper. And here's our first ad. We'll close that, luckily that was easy. And it has the old background on there. You're gonna hit this little gear on top, top right. We're going to choose select from gallery. There's our another little ad, easy, good to go, clear. Gallery. And we're back to the galaxies. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one uh, because I've already changed the aspect ratio from 16 by nine to nine by 16. It will take up as much as it possibly can, um, but we'll go ahead and I'll show you how to go ahead and adjust it the way that you need to. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna hit select on that one. We're going to hit the back button again there it is, and as you can tell, it's kind of it's slightly stretched, right? Hit set wallpaper, home screen, hit home, and there we are. It doesn't look as great as it could, but we can adjust that, and I'll show you how to. Well, I will show you how to choose one that's better suited for this aspect ratio. Plus, this kind of look, it's ugly, it's got the you know YouTube stuff, and yeah, we're gonna get rid of it. So here we are back at this menu after hitting that gear again, which is in the top right corner in case you forgot. You're going to go to video scaling and we're just gonna test this out just to see what it looks like. We're gonna go ahead and crop center, hit that, hit our back button, hit set wallpaper and home screen. Hit home and that looks slightly better. It's not great, plus it's not really that great of a background, but it's pretty good. What I do suggest doing is Let's say you are playing a game or you are uh, watching a video and you want it specifically in this aspect ratio where it takes up corner to corner on this candy bar front screen. Once you've zoomed in to where it's taking up the right amount of space, go ahead and start screen recording on that. It'll screen record at this aspect ratio. It won't do any more, won't do any less. It'll only do that screen, that aspect ratio. I highly suggest that you do that. For instance, let's just go ahead and do it just, just to test it out, just so we can all see it. Okay, so I found the picture that I wanted, or rather the video that I wanted, and yes, again, Dragon Ball, whatever. Uh, this is gonna be slightly weird because I am screen recording and also recording at the same time, but you'll get what I'm saying. So we're gonna go ahead and hit play, tap out, let it just kind of run its course. Notice how it's taking up the entire screen like I want it to. Let that go for however long, see now it stopped. Now I'm going to resume here in a second. Now we're back in the home. You can see that video that I had going was saved. So now we're gonna go back in here, go to the Any Live Wallpaper app again, set wallpaper, deal with the ad nonsense, hit close out on that, gear, select from gallery, yada, 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 
to exit. Okay. Now here's the one that I just got done doing right here. Okay, so I found the picture that I wanted or rather the video that I wanted. And we're going to go ahead and stop that because you don't need to hear me again. Go back, select that one. We don't have to worry about the video scaling. We're just going normal. That doesn't need to be scaled because like I said, we recorded it at the aspect that we wanted it. Once all that's done, hit the, your, your back button. There it is right there. Go ahead and hit set wallpaper, hit home screen, and then we can hit home. And now there it is. It's running its course and it will continue to repeat itself over and over and over again until, you know, honestly, just until you change it. These are two good apps. It's It does take some, some playing around with, but if I can figure it out, I'm pretty sure everybody can figure it out. So I will leave the Google Play link to both of these in the description. If you need a little assistance getting to that. Um, if you have any questions on anything that we just discussed, went over. If you need some help navigating it, if you have some troubleshooting things that you might need help with, I will help as much as possible. But um, that's going to pretty much be it. So we'll go ahead and zoom out of this. All right. So we just went through how to change the inside or the outside screen and how to change the inside screen. If you have any questions on anything, um, please let me know. Don't hesitate. I will try to respond back to you as quickly as possible. Try to help you out as much as possible. Um, and if I need to go over anything or re-explain some stuff, you know, let me know. I have no problem doing that. Um, Again, I want to say thank you guys to all your support so far. This has been awesome. A great experience for me. Uh, this is my first time ever actually going through and doing this channel. And I, I got to say, I, the, the warm welcome that I'm getting is just, it's amazing. So uh, God bless you to all of those who are helping me out and giving me harsh criticisms, good criticisms, uh, compliments, the whole nine. I appreciate literally every one of you. Um, if you have any questions on the statuses that i use obviously we have the fold edition one that we have here uh, i'll leave a link for that also and this one's actually a pretty good one it comes with two if you want to do some drawing uh and this this works out really well for the front screen it's it's nice to actually still be able to do that without having to put your fingerprints all over the place and there's actually a quick little mod that you can do where you take basically this tip and you put it on the back of this just kind of so you can be prepared for everything if I get that going decently, I'll go ahead and, and uh, show y'all how I do that. Um, but yeah, honestly, until then, you know, thanks again for watching. Thank you guys for your support. I really do appreciate it again. Uh, God bless. Don't forget that you guys are awesome. I couldn't be really doing any of this stuff if it wasn't for the support that I'm getting from both my family and you guys, my new YouTube family. And um, yeah, you guys have a uh, great rest of your week and if you don't see from here for me happy new year take it easy guys